What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot, beat up on a lot, and uh, we finally got to Stow Inside. And well, as you can see, Stow Inside is a pretty dusty, pretty old looking place, and uh, well, you could, you're you going to find some interesting stuff right here, like these guys. Uh... You talk to this guy about a bargain. If you buy a, well, you can actually buy a black sludge for three thousand Poke dollars. So we're gonna do that. And there it is, a blob of black sludge. Blob black sludge. An item to, to be held by a Pokemon. It gradually restores HP to a poison type Pokemon. It damages any other type. Hmm. Oh yeah, so it, it will actually poison the Pokemon. So. I think I'm gonna give that to uh, somebody right there. Hey, how about doing an errand for me? If you can bring me what I need, I'll give you a good reward. Today I'm buying a big mushroom for 10,000 Poke Dollars. And yes, we have a big mushroom right here. So there it is. We get ourselves 10,000 Poke Dollars right there. So it doesn't necessarily mean we, we spent a lot of money right here. And well, let's see. There are other things too. A lot of uh, a lot of interesting items, and yes, you can actually find a Pokemon gym right here. Now, in Pokemon Shield, you can actually battle, I believe, a Ghost type trainer right around here. And well, here we have three rare bones, which is nice. And there is an item right here. What is this? Found ourselves a Rocky helmet, which can cut, which will be useful coming into uh, the next few battles right here. And if you go right down here in the backside. You will actually be able to find something else right here. Hold on. Actually, first is first. Let's go into the houses because I think there are rare items here too. And if you talk to this lady, temperature control is very important for cooking. You need to start heat, heat uh, food thoroughly. Got to keep stirring the pot. Make sure it doesn't burn, but it doesn't spill it. Okay, so I think it's not this place right here, but the next place. Let's see. We grab this. Found ourselves two special attacks. I don't want to go there yet because, well, Hop is waiting for us, and we all know what Hop wants to do. So, let's go into the backside right here and see what we can actually find. Again, you'll find some pretty uh, pretty good stuff. And, um, well, let's see. I'm going to go up, 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 and here we up in the roof, and you can actually find a TM right there. To the distance, you'll be finding a Pokemon, a Pokemon uh, gym, and this guy... Hey there! You happen to catch a lot of Maractus? How about trading one for my Hatina? And I don't think I've actually captured a Maractus, so that right there is in, on the list too. Let's see, grab this Metal Coat, which, you know, we actually evolved one of our Pokemon. And grab this, and we found ourselves a TM74 Vanishock. And this right here, the user drenches the target a special poisonous liquid. This move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned, which is a very, very useful move right here. And, uh, well, let's see. We're still trying to go down on the stairs. And, well, let's see. What else can we actually find right here? A lot of great, great items. I don't know. Let's see. There's... Let's see. How about here? Nope, not right there. Okay, so I guess we can actually take on uh, this guy right here, I guess. I don't know. I kind of really don't want to, but... Uh... Okay, let's see. Draven. I'm still not too sure what I should be uh, do about all the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? How about you worry about yourself and not your brother because, well... Technically, you're not kind of ruining his reputation, but then again, whatever. I don't know. But the only thing I can uh, I can do is get stronger, right? Uh, so I'm gonna try all my ki all kinds of uh, different things against you and see what works. <laughs> sure, why not? Bring it on then. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rebel will give me uh get me ahead and uh, my head on straight. I guess. Probably, I don't even know, but here we are, ready to embarrass Hop yet again, and well, here comes a Cremorant. And this is a new Pokemon we haven't seen yet, but it is a very, very powerful Pokemon. Uh, very powerful, it actually uses other Pokemon too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use a Spark Attack on you, because look, it's looking down on you. You are not a challenge, and there we go, Cremorant. <laughs> Yes, you keep on talking about the whole super effective hits and all that stuff, but look at that. Grimorant defeated, and yes, we grow more levels. 
loving the levels and kiss has grown to level 32 right here and here comes a silly cobra so i'm going to embarrass you with a good old michelangelo right here mm -hmm. michelangelo all right michelangelo do what you do best and beat this guy right here and here comes a silly cobra so he's actually captured quite a few different pokemon let's go waterfall and just like that waterfall hits him where it hurts silly cobra has been defeated <laughs> and michelangelo is at level 33 and he's about to come out with a thwacky so let's go right it what the hell am i doing hold on there we go let's go with our bex because well bex is going to be something pretty awesome right here so let's go right ahead and show him uh, the new and improved bex and here comes Thwacky. And, well, Thwacky, eh, I, I feel bad for you because you're not going to lay a finger on me. So here you go, Pyro Ball for the win. And look at that. <laughs> oh my god, Hop, you are being embarrassed. You need to stop. You really need to. And he's about to come out with a Toxel. Seriously? Why do you keep on picking the Pokemon and I choose? This is. This is annoying. Okay, so Toxel, let's see. It is a ground and electric type, or it's a electric and poison type, so must not give this guy any kind of hits. And <laughs> oh my god. Enough with the motivational speeches, man. You're not gonna lay a finger on me, and uh, well, let's go straight for a pyro ball. <laughs> oh my god. If you thought Beads beating was bad, look at this. He didn't land one single hit on me. Not one. And just like that, we grow levels. <laughs> oh, my God. Hop, you need to retire. Seriously. Because you didn't lay one finger on me. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in, in and out to the max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still uh, so weak. That's right, because, uh, <laughs> oh my God. you didn't lay a finger on me, homeboy. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. Trust me, if my little brother was rubbish and I'm the greatest trainer, uh, they're not going to be laughing at me. I don't know why. It's not enough. I've got to try harder, and harder and harder until no one's laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, old boy. I really am. And you better stop doing that pose. Seriously. You're no Super Saiyan. I'm off, mate. Off to uh, find the kind of Pokemon that I really draw the straight out of. Yeah, flipping you off. Your brother is not rubbish because you are rubbish. Okay. And, wow. She, like, appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> that child. Team challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. You see, she knows. She's the real one. Shoot. Anyway, there, here's something for letting me watch your battle. And we're getting another another leak card right here, which is great. Now, now when you go, child, you're headed to the uh, Stow Inside Gym next, no? The gym challenge is about to having fun. It is. And I still like your babushka right there. I think that's what it's called, the babushka. And uh, she's walking so methodically. Seriously, hop. Oh, my God. How are you even my rival? Okay, so let's see. Uh, yes, we are going to get a TM from this gentleman, and we get ourselves the TM06, which is Fly. And this right here is a better move than, uh, you know, good old Pluck right here, because, well, yeah. And, well, let's see. There's nothing else we can do except, oh, go up these stairs. Yes, we're going to we're gonna grab ourselves a, another item right here. So let's see. What are we looking at? Oh, yes. Here's an item. And here we found ourselves a cracked pot. A peculiar teapot that makes a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It may be cracked, but the tea poured from it is delicious. Now, there is a certain Pokemon that evolves from this item, including, um, well, another certain item, too. And, well, we're going to get off right here. And I think you can go in the back side right here. Look at that. Okay. Here we found ourselves a Dust Stone, which, you know, can evolve another Pokemon right here. And, well... I don't think we can go anywhere else. 
So let's go straight to the Pokemon Jam and uh, actually, you know, battle trainers worthwhile right here. Yes, I am throwing shade at uh, what's his face at uh, Hop right here. So let's go right ahead and bam, what do we got? This guy right here, and what kind of Pokeball will he give us? And that will be the Heavy Ball, which can actually capture Pokemon that are like super heavy, like Snorlax, for instance. It's not going to catch it automatically, but it will make it easier for you. And uh, before we battle anything, let's go right ahead and check out these new moves, okay? So, going back right here, um, we're going to be taking on a ground-type trainer right here. So, here we go with a throat chop. We could use that. Um, fly. Let's go ahead and give it to Shadow Blade right here since, you know, its pluck attack is, is worthless. There's not going to be a trainer here with, like, you know... Berry. The only thing we have to worry about is it's two uh, two prone attacks right here. And well, pin missile will actually work. Let's see what Dig does. Dig actually works, and we're gonna give it to Michelangelo. And this one, it's a little more powerful. So let's go let's go ahead and replace Headbutt with it. And that right there will actually help us. And what else? Let's see. Light screen replace. Uh, Steel wing. Wow, seriously? Shadow Blade can't learn that? Wow. Okay, that's ridiculous. And here we have a Rain Dance attack. Now, I could use this to actually help us out in this battle, but I'm not that type of person. So, let's see, a Swift attack. Yeah, okay, so Santum, Bullet Seed, Rock, uh, let's see. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm questioning a lot of these, like Venishock right here. How can Blitzkrieg not learn Venishock? Okay. Then we got Bulldoze, that could have been useful right here, okay. Electro Web, Tail Slap, Brutal Swing, Body Slam, Flamethrower is a very good move right here. Now that I have two, Waterfall, I've already te taught it, and then let's see, Reversal. Like seriously, Dribzilla, what can you learn except for like these other moves right here? Holy crud, okay. You know, it looks like to me that we're just going to go in with what we got. One move being learned, and seriously, okay. So, Aurora Sphere, you cannot learn, to, like, Bex cannot learn this move. This is ridiculous. Okay, so, wow. Yeah, it turns out that none of, none of my Pokemon can learn this, except for this one. Zen Headbutt can actually be useful for Bex. So, let's go right ahead and teach Bex uh, Zen Headbutt. This can actually work out to our advantage right here. So, there we go. So what other fighting team kick, other move can it learn? And okay, so enough's that. Let's go right ahead and just talk to this person. We're taking on the gym challenger. Yes, we are, and we're gonna be changing into our uniform right here. Alrighty, let's go right ahead and change into that uniform and go number thirty-seven. That's right, football number and all that crud. So. Ah, we're gonna be battling another gym leader right here. Okay, alrighty. Yes, Big Daddy is coming in, and I don't think it's a... Wait, maybe it's a Fighting-type Gym Leader. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be... This is going to be fun right here. Okay, so let's see what this person is all about right here. So, let's see. Allow me to explain the gym's mission for Stoneside's Gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride onto these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid the obstacles. Let me uh, tell you about a bit more about the uh, how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right in the cup, and we will start spinning upright. Rotate it to the left, and, uh, and the cup will spin left. If you hit a wall, try and rotate as quick as you can, so you can get to the sticky, uh, get out of the sticky situation. Now, have a good time and watch the world spin as you try to reach your goal. Okay, then let's go right ahead. I think this is a fighting type gym. Then, yeah, it looks like it's a fighting type gym. Anywho. Let's do this, and let's see, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning the other way, alright, spin this way, holy crud, there we go, spin that way, and just like that we reach the goal right here, and it looks like we have a trainer ready for us, so let's go right ahead and see what this trainer's all about. You look pretty dizzy, are you sure you can uh, battle in that condition? Yes, I can. I am not dizzy. It's just looking at this. So here we go. Taking on Ian. And he is coming out with a Stuffle. So it looks like to me this is a fighting type gym. Why in the heck was I thinking ground type? 
Probably the location. I don't know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling. Here we go. Poison tab for the win. And Stuffle has been stuffed with poison. Okay, so there we go. More experience points. And let's go straight to Shadow Blade right here. Now that it has fly attack. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this. Fly attack, and there's Shadow Blade looking pretty good. And here comes a Beware. Beware. Beware of that teddy bear right there. So let's go straight for a fly attack. Yes, we won't be touched. Now, again, Stuffle, beware. Normal and fighting type Pokemon. So you can actually beat it with a fighting type Pokemon if you wanted to. So here we go. Fly attack. Hits it pretty hard. Look at that. Okay. And yes, you cannot hurt us. So here we go. Fly attack yet again. And, well, here comes a bind attack. And nope, it doesn't work. So here we go again. Fly attack for the win. And there we go. Say goodbye to beware. And, well, look at that. Shadow Blade grows to level 32. So now, okay. I'm actually digging this whole new move right here. Okay. And, well, let's go ahead and move on into the next section of this whole this whole uh, game right here. And, well, let's see. We got to go to these punching areas. And we got to move quickly, quickly, quick, quickly, quickly. Oh, gravy. Yes. I probably should have made it right there, but I kind of panicked a little. And there we go. Try this again. And look at that. Go again. There we go. Go again onto the left side. Or right side, I should say. And this one will actually take us to the goal right here. And just like that, we finished. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's go right here. And let's switch it out to good old Bex right here. Because, yeah, we have a move just for this situation. And our gym is our gym mission is like a theme, a theme park attraction. What do you think? I think it's pretty fun, but still kind of dizzy right here. So here we are taking on Claire. And she's going to be coming out with her Farfetch right here. Okay, so Galarian Farfetch, a little bit different from the regular Farfetch. It's not a flying type, it's a pure fighting type. And it has a big old stick. It does have high HP or high, uh, or what you might call it. It does have high uh, attack, but just like that, Bex just destroys them. And, well, I. Yes, that's, uh, you yeah, know, I guess that's a victory for us right there. Okay, so I think this is the last one right here. And I guess it gets a little harder right here. So let's go. Let's go right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. And, oh, crap baskets. Okay, so we have to turn. And. Okay, so I kind of messed up right there. So. We're going to have to go this side. And this one will actually take us down here. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You know, in real life, I wouldn't like these attractions, actually. Definitely not a... Uh, <laughs> for me, I'm definitely not a roller coaster nut. Not in any way. My brother is. Don't know why. I think he's pretty crazy for that one right there. And, well... Let's go ahead and give Shadow Blade a little love right here, okay? So, Shadow Blade has not gotten any kind of love. And our job is to defeat all reckless gym challengers. Okay, all right. Do you think I'm a reckless challenger? I do not know. So let's go right ahead and take on Simon. And he's coming out with his Hitmonlee right here. Let's go with Shadow Blade. And now we're feeling a little more confident. We're feeling like we can actually do anything now that we got Fly. So here we go, Fly Attack. Yes, Shadow Blade is doing things, and Rever Revenge is coming back. But here comes a Fly Attack for the win. And there goes Hitmonlee. Poor Hitmonlee. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And let's see. Who's next? Here comes a Hitmonchan. Let's continue with Shadow Blade. And let's go right ahead and uh, fly away. Fly away, little birdies. And that right there was an Ice Punch. No, it was a Comet Punch. And so... Fly attack, flies, and here comes 
Bullet T, or Bullet Punch, I should say. That doesn't work, so here we go. Bam! Oh, nearly defeats this guy. So let's go straight for a Fury attack just for, you know, added measure. And here comes a Bullet Punch. Now, you would think that this Pokemon would learn, like, Thunder Punch or Ice Punch just to beat us. I don't know. And Fury attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. And, well, our Pokemon are growing nice and good. And, well, Kiss is trying to learn Scary, scary Face, but not going to learn it. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. Okay. I think we're getting close to the gym leader, so let's see. Um, we got another Pokeball right here. Oh, Heavy Ball and Level Ball. Okay. Uh, yes, we did buy ourselves a lot of potions, so... Just, uh, just for, you know, just for good measure right here. And, well, let's go right ahead up the, the stairs, and we have conquered this gym. And I now remember who our gym leader was. Oh, man, am I excited. I am very, very excited. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, see what we were all about right here. Okay. So here we are into the stadium, walking into the pitch. And, well, we're looking pretty fantastic right here. And... Mm, 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 mm. Look at the legs on her. She definitely works out. Welcome, uh, welcome, gym ch uh, challenger. I'm B. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? I think I, t I can test it out. I can't, or I think I just can. Uh, or damn, I can't even speak right now because I'm focused on her. Look at her. Just look at her. She looks like she can just like destroy me and stuff. So, anywho, I think I'll just test that out. Shall I? Whatever you say, baby. So, here we go, guys. Another gym battle. And there she is, ready to go. And she's got some kind of Muay Thai kind of stuff going on. And, oh, <laughs> holy crud. She came out with Hitmontop right here. Alrighty, so, let's get it. Shadow Blade, let's go. Unnerved. And uh, I'm starting to think that uh, <laughs> she heard what I said, but I'm just complimenting her. Anywho, let's go straight for a fly attack, and revenge won't work, so here we go. Fly attack for the win. Eat it. And Hitmontop has uh, survived, and that actually uh, counterattack hits us hard. Holy crud. Okay, so uh, I see where this is going. So that means that I can't really ask you out. So let's go with a Dreamzilla. And I'm going with Dreamzilla for this specific reason, guys. Hitmontop is about to faint. It can't hit me. So let's go right ahead with an Astonish. That way it will flinch. There we go. And just like that, it can't hit me. <laughs> That's right. Go set Pokemon. And here we go. Quick attack for the win. Say goodbye to Hitmontop. Look at that. So Dreepsilla wins its first match right there. And bam! Grows to level 30. Everybody else is growing levels. And Blitzkrieg is finally learning a better move. Discharge. So let's go right ahead and teach that. And look at that. Discharge is about to go. Michelangelo growing to level 34. And she's going to be coming out with a Pangoro. If you guys don't know, Pangoro is not a Pokemon you would want to mess with. So let's go straight for Blitzkrieg right here. And, uh, well, Blitzkrieg, ready to go. Now, I am going to try to revive my Shadow Blade right here. So here comes Pangoro. Okay, you don't scare me, homeboy. You don't. And here comes the Mold Breaker. Okay, can somebody explain to me what the Mold Breaker does? Comment down below, and let's go ahead and give that to Shadow Blade right here. So we're wasting the turn right here. And here comes a Workup Attack. That might be... Ooh, Cred Baskets. Okay, so yes, its attack and special attack has risen. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna fight. Let's go with a Discharge, because, well, yes, we just learned it. And here comes a Discharge. Bam! Hits it pretty hard. And it is powering up yet again. So, yeah. Too bad it won't be able to use... Any kind of move because, well, Discharge is about to hit again. And there goes Pangoro. Kind of messing up your strategy right there. Mm-hmm. All righty. Okay. And, well, let's see. What else is coming out? Here comes a Surfetched. Or Surfetched. 
Now, again, it is not a fly or a flying type Pokemon, so we're gonna go straight to Bex right here. And well, let's see what let's see what you're all about, little girl. Alrighty. So she's gonna be looking all fantastic as always in Surfetch. Holy crud. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go straight for a Zen headbutt. Yes, you didn't expect that, and it avoided it. Holy crud. And here comes its revenge, and that really doesn't hit me that hard, but here comes another Zen headbutt. And from there, bam! Hits it as hard as it can. And here comes a revenge attack yet again. Holy crud. Okay, so that right there, okay, I kind of walked into that. Revenge does go double if, for the amount of points, and well, let's go with Shadow Blade right here. Holy crud. Okay, so we're going to be battling uphill right here. Again, it still looks like a flying type Pokemon right here. Alright, let's go straight for a fly attack. And Surf Edge is using Detect. Not going to work because, well, guess what? We're just doing a two point move or a two move or two turn move. And here comes a fly attack. And just like that, Surf Edge has been defeated. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> Okay, so let's see. She's going to be coming out with a Machamp. This right here is a little bit, uh, yeah, this is going to be intriguing. So what is going to happen is she's going to dig up her heels. She's not giving up. So should you. Okay, so she's coming out with Machamp. I am totally not going to use the, I'm totally not using the Dynamax right here. So we're just going to fly. Ugh, fine then. Let's just destroy everything! Your skills worthy the respect of Gigantamaxi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is looking fantastic. And well, here comes Gigantamax Machamp. And this guy. Wow. An absolute unit. Yeah. We're just going to fly and hit you. So go ahead and try and hit us. And. <laughs> Yeah, here comes a max strike, and that actually avoids the hit. So here comes a fly attack and crap baskets. Here comes a dark max darkness. So what's going to happen right here is we're going to actually get this Pokemon to use up all of its, uh, you know, all of its turns right here. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and go with Michelangelo or Michelangelo. Use its dig attack, that way it won't get hit. And then, you know, just make sure it wastes its, its stuff right here. So let's go straight for a dig attack and that way it wastes another turn right there. Alrighty, okay. And she's like, G Max Strike, G Strike, what the heck? G Strike key strike and it, we have avoided that move and well it's wasted it's diamond egg <laughs> it's gigantamax right there so there we go uh, that is strategy right there for you guys and here comes a scary face attack so what we're going to do right now is uh we're going to try and revive fully revive uh what's his face um yes bex so let's see do we have something that will fully revive let's see a terribly bitter Yes, let's go ahead and go with the Revival Herb and go straight to Bex right here. And, well, Bex has full, been fully revived. Here comes a Revenge. And that will make Michelangelo faint right here. Yes, we're using strategy because guess what's going to happen next? Holy bejeebus. Back from the dead, here comes de uh, good old Bex. Look at this guy. Okay. Time to use the super move that has been taught to us. Let's go with the Max Mindstorm. So, <laughs> we're going to crush you. We're going to destroy you. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. That's right. Good old Bex is going to grow and grow and grow. Look at this guy. Goal! Oh, yes. Okay. So, here comes the Max Mindstorm. How does it feel to fail? And Machamp has been defeated just like that. He has been crushed. Or it's a she. You know, that's always been my question too. If a Machamp is a female, why is her boobies out? 
That is a good question. And well, there goes our Pokemon growing levels right there. And look at that. It took us one turn while it took you like three or four turns right there. <laughs> so Gym Leader B has been defeated. She's still looking fine as hell. Look at that core. Huh. <laughs> she could destroy me. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in battle. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very big compliment right there. And well, B is just looking at us and she's like, thank you for the battle. Whew. Facing you, uh, facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. And, well, we're going to shake hands. I don't know why you're doing that, but yes, here it is. Another piece to the puzzle. And, bam, we get ourselves the fighting badge. And now we can catch Pokemon up to level 40. I hope that you can meet more, uh, many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Ain't she sweet? She's really sweet. Challenger Draven, congratulations on defeating Leader B. Take this TM to remember your victory and we get ourselves the TM42, which is Revenge. And well, this attack's move is doubled if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn, which kind of explains something right there. And take one of our fighting uniforms as well as a souvenir. Look at that. Free clothes. You gotta love that. And well, let's see. The fighting badge suits you, Draven. I hope you'll carry it on, uh, uh, on just as you've been doing. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, first is first. Uh, I kind of feel like there's something else gonna go on right here. So. Uh, it would be a good idea. Oh, actually, our Pokemon are healed. Huh, never mind. Okay, so, uh, yes, four badges, and, well, Bork. Well, look at that. Big Booty Balto, or Boltund. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural uh, here in Stoneside? It is said to, to tell the story of a hero of Galar as well okay though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here you tend to have some probably a sharp insight so i was wondering if you might uh, think when you see the ruins kaboom okay that can't be good huh what in the world was that sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins too let's go have a look come along yamper Okay, so that really can't be good. Anywho, guys. Yes, we have four badges in all. And we're going to have to go straight to the mural uh, right up next right here. So, we're going to take a small breather. In the next episode, we're going to figure out what's going on. And make sure to be, you know, the knight in shining armor for our boo, Sonya, and all that stuff. Uh, again, thank you guys for the birthday wishes, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this marathon, the mar the small marathon that I have here for you guys. Uh, another episode will be coming out. So, again, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit the description right there on the you know the subscription button, the notifications button, and on top of that, if you guys want to make a small donation here, hit the link the link in the description here below, and I'll see you guys next time.